Good morning, welcome to Walker Adventure Media. It's another beautiful day. Let me show you what we worked on in the last video and what we're gonna be working on today. In the last video, we got all the siding on the trailer and we got all of our doors on right here. Getting the doors on was a bit challenging, but if you wanted to see how I did it, go ahead and click the link in the description and you'll be able to see how that happened. You have to forgive my voice, I'm a little bit sick today. We still got work to do, so we're gonna get after it. On today's episode, we are going to be putting the roof on. As you see, I already kind of put it on. I've done a little bit of work here. We are bolting everything down and then we're gonna be sealing everything around the outside. We'll also be painting the inside um, of the trailer and we will also be adding trim pieces to seal everything up. As always, thanks for watching and let's get to work. I came out here last night and I put the roof on here. We, and, and I drilled some of these bolts. It was really easy to drill the holes. Um, you know, you just take the drill and just drill straight down, found where the holes were, and they'll be connecting to our brackets, right? So we've got our connector brackets up in here and we were just drilling these holes right there. Now, as you can see in here, we do have, we can see some daylight and that they're it's definitely not sealed by any means. And so, so what we'd be doing today is putting some spray foam insulation in all those gaps, um, trying to seal it. And then we'll also be following up with some liquid nails, sealer, silicone stuff to seal all the water out um, and keep this thing nice and dry. We'll also be using some of these trim pieces. This is just one inch by one inch angle iron. And these will be going on the front face here right and as well as every gap every gap and corner will have a trim piece on it and that'll kind of alleviate a lot of the um, you know it kind of looks a little janky at the moment and so we do want to have all the trim pieces covering the top section the sides anything that might show a gap or crease all right now that we got now that we got the whole top secured we're gonna be using this great stuff um, gaps and sealer uh, gaps and cracks it just is made to fill gaps and so on it's not particularly waterproof but it's kind of just water resistant which is okay I just want something to kind of fill the space um, that we've got going on here so I just took some spare PVC pipe that I had laying around and I just propped up each of the kind of low spots with the PVC pipe and I think this is gonna work out really nicely <laughs> from insulation in it's pretty fun to watch this stuff just bubble up and kind of spill out so what we're gonna do once that dries is we're gonna take a just a, a serrated knife and just cut it all off after we cut it up then we'll probably go back in and repaint the inside and then we'll start um, sealing everything on the outside using um, some liquid nails and we're gonna start trimming up the trailer it's coming along on getting all the trim pieces all cut out and set up it's been a little bit of a slower process because it gets so hot during the day I've only had a you know a couple hours throughout the day um, to actually work on this so I've been doing it a little bit every single day um, but let me show you what I've been doing we got all the trim pieces on here um, these clamps are ready to be taken off and all the stuff should be dry so we did trim pieces all the way around the edges even on the front up here on both sides so really this thing's looking good obviously you know we made quite a bit of mess with the liquid nails here but i'm just going to take the grinding wheel and smooth it all down before we paint it so we still have quite a bit of work before um, we're ready to paint but that's all right um, we're just going to take the grinding wheel all the way around the edges and really smooth everything out get it just right um, obviously when you look over here too 
this door here is well rusty and so we got to get all the rust off we're gonna have to do a lot of like surface um you know cleaning to be able to get this trailer where we need to in order to paint it but before we do that, I'm gonna be messing around a little bit with some weather stripping to seal up these doors. I already did a couple of things, but it didn't really work, and so I'm trying some new stuff. And we'll probably just be cleaning more than anything else. We kinda of just need to get this thing in shape. I've got paint on the way, and so once the paint gets here, I wanna paint the whole thing um, on the outside, and then we'll kinda of go from there. So, as you see here on this door, we've got this, I just put this foam weather stripping on the door here. Now, one of the things that we need to figure out here is when we're closing, when we're closing this door, as you can see, it just, it doesn't really close, you know? I'm like pushing on it and it just really squishes all this foam here. It's a pretty wide gap, it's about a half inch. If I tuck the foam in, it works great, you know? But obviously every time I open and close this door, I don't wanna be tucking foam in. And we've got the foam all the way around the outside edges, even on this inside here as well. I just got back from Home Depot, and, so, and I've got a couple of other things that I think we're gonna try. Fingers crossed they work. As you'll recall from the previous video, we do have about a half inch gap all the way around this door, and so we need to seal it somehow. Um, but this foam stuff is not the way to do it. And so we'll just have to figure out the best way. Here's the stuff you're gonna need to seal uh, your doors if you're doing this uh, similar project at home. So what we got is just this weather stripping from Home Depot. This is what the package looks like. It is just, you know, it, seal, it says it seals up to a half inch gap. Um, fits 36 inches, it includes the screws here. We may or may not be using these, I haven't decided yet, we probably will. Um, but anyways, we'll decide when we get there. And so what we need to do here, typically, when, when you're putting these on, what, the way it comes from the package is it will sit like this. Now I wasn't a huge fan of that because now you have a nice channel um, that it would catch water or whatever and it would just drain directly into the trailer. So instead of doing that, what I did was I reversed this piece in this channel. You can just slide this out, these slide apart, and I reversed it to where now in the trailer it will sit like this. So you have a flat part and then you've got your ridge on this side. So the door will be squishing up against um, this ridge and it all kind of flattens out. And I think that'll be a lot better. Uh, that will be a lot better seal than what we were looking at originally. Now what we're gonna do is just cut this to size and then fit it in the trailer. We've got a four foot gap and then we'll do this side here. The bottom is really snug and so I'm not gonna worry about that. And then on this inside here, we're just gonna continue to use this foam because that provides a lot of security and just added stiffness. Um, it kind of makes the door close really nice. So we're gonna keep that on there and then we'll just be adding it to the top of the door as well as the side. <laughs> got everything all clamped up. I got four clamps along the top, three on the side. It should hold everything. We're gonna let it sit overnight. Yeah, let everything get all hardened up. I'm really hoping that the liquid nails will bind everything together. There's not a lot of space there, so I'm hoping that it'll just be sticky enough to hold it. All right, we got everything. Everything's been sitting and drying for about a day or so now. We're gonna let, we're gonna take off all of our clamps here. There we go. Well, I'd say that's pretty sturdy. That's not going anywhere. Good deal. All right. Well, that will hopefully work. All right, the doors are closed and they are sealed. No daylight coming through. This looks great. And we come over here to this other side. The other side turned out well. It was pretty good as well. We got full swing. And I close it up nice. 
Yeah, that weather stripping I think worked great. Really, the main thing to keep in mind is just to allow yourself enough room on the back side, just so there's enough squish. It's a happy medium. You got to get just enough squish um, with of the weather stripping, but also make sure that the metal casing on the back side isn't too close to the door. That way, the door doesn't close. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're going to do this in the future. What we're going to do now is we're going to. Just take the grinder and clean the whole trailer off. As you can see, obviously, we have rust spots. We got goo everywhere. We got liquid nails. I mean, this thing is a real mess if we're gonna try to paint this. So we need to go through, smooth the whole thing out, just polish it, make it look pretty. And by doing so, we'll be ready to paint. We're getting really close, guys. This is awesome. It was actually perfect timing that we did all the weather stripping on the trailer and that we got the top all sealed up with all the trim pieces because we just had a huge thunderstorm that rolled through. So I was just taking a look to see how do we fare? You know, are we waterproof? Are we not? So on and so forth. So let's check it out. In the back here, we actually did really well. As you can see, there's a bunch of water up here on the top. It like there's a big puddle down here. It poured pretty hard rain. And we got a couple of findings. One, this whole panel here, completely dry. So we did great over there. The front is also dry. And then along this side is also dry. So everything we did with the, with the spray foam insulation and the trim pieces up here, all of that is dry, which is really cool. Now, the door here held, this back door held up pretty good. It, if you'll notice here, you had a little, we have a little bit of water that came, it came across here and then dribbled down the side. We have a little bit of pooled water down here. Now, I think I've got a couple of other ideas how to even avoid um, doing just this. But when we come up here to this other side, this front side didn't fare so well. As you can see, the whole inside right here is all wet. What would happen is the water would come off this top, it would spill down the side here, and then it would curl around the edge, thus catching the door and going inside. Even with this weather stripping, it wasn't routing the water down to then come out to the corner here. So we're gonna have to do a few things to this. Um, we actually have quite a bit of water just right here in the entryway. Everything else completely dry, just this entryway um, is wet and you can tell that's coming from the door because the door here is all wet as well. I've got a couple of other ideas on what we can do. What we really need to focus on is just water routing. When it drips, where does it go? So we can do a couple different things. One, we could do, we could potentially do like a little um, like rain gutter that would run this way and off. We could put, we could do something like that. We could do something to where when this door is closed, we have like a little fiber, um, kind of like a little brush weather stripping that will just make it to where the water will dribble off the side here versus going inside. We have, this stuff is sealed, so the water's not coming in going this way. It's just dribbling in and finding its way through the door and then in. So those are kind of our options. Um, we probably will do both. <laughs> um, and we'll probably do both on the back side as well. But we'll see. For the moment, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, I'm just going to kind of brainstorm and we'll kind of readdress that here in a second. Um, but for right now, we're just going to go through and we're going to clean the whole trailer, get all the rest off. We're going to get it dry first um, and then get all the rest off um, and kind of get this thing ready to be painted. morning guys it's another beautiful day we are working on the trailer and we're gonna get it painted today I got a little bit done last night so I'll show you what that looks like right now we just got it all prepped and ready to go I got some tape on the tail lights here I've got we just wiped it all down ground it down everything is looking really good we got it all prepped I didn't really video it because honestly it's pretty boring stuff but we're just gonna go prime it what we're using today is just this rust-oleum two-in-one or I guess it's two times cover flat gray primer. This stuff has worked really well on a lot of other things I've done in the past. I think it's gonna hold up pretty good for this build. It's really coming together nicely. 
Let's get painting. Now that it's morning, we've given the primer chips to dry, and this is what it looks like. Turned out pretty great. This is obviously just the primer. Everything's looking good. I will say this, the roof, it looks like there are dry and wet spots, even though this is like the fourth coat of paint. And so I'm not sure what's going on with that. It looks like some parts of the metal are soaking up the paint a little bit more than others. We can solve all this with just the paint. Obviously this is just the primer. We don't need to worry too much about it, um, but it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. We're going to paint all the trim pieces black first, and then we'll do the body of the trailer uh, second. So we're gonna, we're just gonna start doing all the trim, the fenders, um, all the brackets, just different accent pieces. We're gonna paint all those and then we'll tape them up and then paint the body of the trailer. Um, so let's get to it. This morning I got the trim all painted up. It looks fantastic. The paint held really nicely. It's all smooth and shiny. We are taping up. We're just gonna be using blue painter's tape. We're taping all the trim now and we're gonna be painting the body here pretty soon. Ashley's doing a great job helping out. And we're gonna get it looking nice here in a second. While the paint's wet, it's always great to pull off all the tape and see these nice clean lines underneath. That is gonna look so good. Check that out. Last night we finished painting both the trim and the sides and this is how it turned out. It looks fantastic. I could not be happier. I think the tan looks great. We got the latches on today. They're real just simple, easy Amazon latches. But look at this thing. It is, it looks like a legit trailer now. The whole thing's really come together. I could not be happier. I also got these jacks in the mail. And so I attached those on, they're really easy. You, they're just bolt-on jacks. They're about 30 bucks a piece. Put one right there. And then I put one right here on the side. That was the last one they had in stock. And so we're just gonna wait till another one comes in stock. Right now it's totally functional. It'll be fine. Um, you can stand on the back end and it won't wobble, but we'll buy We'll go ahead and pick up another one for the other side when it becomes in stock again. The doors work great. You just pop each latch like so, open it up. And there you have it. The best part is with that weather stripping that we installed, the whole thing is completely dry. It is fantastic. I think the tan really complements the outside. This thing has really come together. I could not be happier. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This is just such a huge milestone in this build. I really just am so happy that 
it's come together. I think the fit and finish actually looks way better now that it's painted. Um, the trim pieces went on really nicely. Uh, the black accents, the door handles, the bolts, everything. I, it just looks great. I, I really just am so excited and happy that it has worked out so well. The next milestone in the build is to add the tent on top of the trailer. So we're going to do that in the next episode. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. As always, thanks for watching.